What's up, YouTube? This is my 90 gallon tank update video. Uh, I wanted to do an update video on this tank because I wanted to show my moving bed, how it's moving now because there's bacteria in there. So, all the K1 material, uh, K1 coldness has some weight to it, so it's it's floating neutral in the water so it moves around a lot easier I'll get to that in a minute um, I bought a I didn't buy I got well I bought some fish but I'm, I keep switching my fish around from tank to tank and right now I have a bunch of random fish in this tank uh, let's see still bare bottom of course I got this live plant in here it's one of those cheap pellets you buy I bought four of them and I just put them in there because I never grew live plants before and this one's growing really good. Um, I like it, so I'm just going to leave it in there um, until my Oscar tears it up and the other fish just tear it up, knock it over. But uh, so there's my Oscar. Uh, I got a little tiny Oscar too. It's kind of funny because they swim together. They think they're brother and sister or something. I have no idea. And uh, I got some uh, some baby silver dollars in there, two of those. And uh, what are these called? black fin tetras or black some kind of fin tetra is what those are I got those from Petco for free along with these guys uh, those yellow orangey looking guys got those for free from Petco and also that Pleco right there they were donated from from Petco to me and uh, really healthy he's gonna be awesome in here and of course I got that male convict there I put my two angels in here because they're gonna have a growth spurt pretty soon. Um, my catfish are hanging out inside the holes like normal until I turn my lights off. And of course, there's my other convict. Uh, he's a male too. I'm gonna get rid of one of the males and get a female. I just gotta find it. Uh, there's Salem. Yes, he he does talk. He's a, a little sorcerer, freaking Hellraiser right now. He's walking around checking it out you wouldn't think he just killed two Rottweilers about 10 minutes ago <clears throat> here's the sump moving bed it's awesome I love it I love taking my cover off my tank and just looking at this because it's just sweet uh, I changed my poly filter once already um, no any new information on that I changed it because it got dirty from a lot of crap in the tank and it lasted about two weeks. I pulled it out and it's working great. Um, I got a lot of stuff in the tank right now as far as like chemicals and whatnot because uh, I'm trying to grow more bacteria. The tank's not fully done cycling yet so I got it loaded up with a lot of um, anaerobic bacteria stuff like that. In my other video you can see what I use. But everything's working perfect. Still no moisture in here. Um, just great. I love it. It's really quiet at night. I turn the blue lights on. But yeah, um, let's see. As soon as my tank is done cycling, I'm gonna go pick up my arowana. He's uh, about 11 inches, so that'll be fun. That'll be a good day. Oh, there's, of course, the eels up there. Dude, he won't get away from the overflow. Uh, the overflow box of the current, he just, he, I don't know what it is, but he just likes sucking himself right to the, right where the current goes through the holes in the overflow, the little slits, and he just sits there for hours and hours and hours, so it's weird. Um, but yeah, that's my update on my tank. Um, I'll give it like a month, and uh, I'll do like a cleaning video, and I'll do a video of uh, me getting you know all the algae out of the corners and, and making it look pretty again and maybe an update on the plant how that's doing and of course my sump because that's the coolest part of the system is how the sump operates and once it's all gummed up with algae and whatnot or not algae bacteria and whatnot I'll uh, I'll do an update on that so you can see maybe I'll do a filter change on that polycloth stuff so you can uh, see how I go about doing that and and so on but that'll be in about a month so all right see you guys later